So let me ask you this question. How well do you know Flexbox and how well do you know how Bricks Builder uses Flexbox to build our pages? Because if you're going into the Bricks Builder interface and clicking the icons and getting the layout that you want, but not really understanding what CSS code is generated behind the scenes, then you're really going to like today's video. So firstly, let's look at how you might be building your pages using Bricks Builder. So when you're inside Bricks Builder, you might be used to building your pages by adding a section element Element, which adds the section element up here with a container inside it. And then inside here, let's say for example, you wanna have three columns. You might come up to here and add a block element. And then inside this block, you might go and give it a background color and we could give it a background color of the yellow here. And then inside this block, maybe you want to add a heading element and then we might add an image as well. And then to make three columns, you might get this block here and then you just duplicate it here two times and then to sit the them next to each other, you come onto the container and then you sit them in a row. You might even know that you can come down here and add something like two rems for the column gap to give them some space between them. And now we have the desired layout that we wanted in the three columns. And all we had to do is click buttons here inside the Bricks Builder user interface and we managed to achieve it. Now, this is a point that I had been at for quite a while, but I started to get concerned with the fact that I was re relying too much on what these icons were without really understanding understanding what the underlying CSS and the code behind it is doing. So over the last couple of days, I've dedicated my entire time to learning about Flexbox and how it all works on a CSS level so that I could come back into here and really understand what was happening behind the scenes. And in doing so, now I know exactly what's happening when I click all the different icons that you see on the screen here, and it's helping me build my pages faster. I also answered a question that I had before a couple of days ago, which is what do these options down here do? Flex grow, flex shrink, and flex basis. Three different properties related to the flex box layout system inside a CSS that I had no idea what these were doing. Another question that I had is this block element that was introduced into one of the most recent versions of Bricks Builder, what is the difference between a block element and something like our div element? All these questions that I had that you might have as well, I've gone ahead and researched and I've got the answer answers to them and I'm putting everything that I've just discussed in a video that I'll be releasing soon on my YouTube channel. So if you're like me and you want to understand Flexbox and CSS on a very granular level and understand the code and what's happening when we go into Bricks Builders interface and click on these icons, then definitely subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I do release that video all about Flexbox and Bricks Builder. So an example of what we'll be covering in that video that I'll be releasing soon on my YouTube channel is the following. If we go into one of these. So I just go to the container and we have flex direction as horizontal row. If we go down and hover on this, it says justify hyphen content and it says align on the main axis. And then we have these options here, start, center, and space between, space around, and space evenly. Something that you might not know is if we hover back onto here where it says justify content, this is actually a CSS property. And the values over here, start, center, and end, these are values for this CSS property. So I'll show you what I mean. Back here in our code editor, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly create a div with the class container. And then inside there, we're gonna add a div with the class item. And I'm just gonna duplicate that four times so we have four items in here. Now if I go down here and I style the items and I make it a width of 100 pixels, a height of 100 pixels and we set the background color to be purple with a border that's one pixel solid and black. If we come up to the parent and start styling the parent now so the container and we come in here and write display and flex, you can see now they sit next to each other. Now, if I give this a background color of yellow and I just make its height 80% uh, of the view height, so we have some space to work with. Let's say I wanna sit all these four items in the center here of the container parent. All I need to do is write justify content center, and now they're centered on the page. And this justify content center, if we come back here and hover on the main axis, justify hyphen content, and then over here center. So these labels up here are actually the CSS properties that you would use if you're writing standard 
standalone CSS to align your flex items. Now we also have this one down here, align on the cross axis. And this says align hyphen items as the CSS property. And down here are the values we can use. So start, center, end, and stretch. So if I come back here and do align items and I do center again, now they're centered vertically. So align hyphen items. If we go back to the cross axis, align hyphen items. And then we just added the center here. Now you might be wondering what's the difference between a main axis and a cross axis. And that's defined by our flex direction, which the property is flex hyphen direction. So you can see here, I have that set to row. But if I remove this, notice what happens here. There's no icon selected here. So the default, if I click on column, the default that Bricks Builder uses out of the box is column. So flex direction, column. And we need to change that manually to row to sit them next to each other. But if we come back here into our code editor, I haven't added a flex direction anywhere and they're sitting in a row. And if we have a look at what's going on here, so I'll just inspect element, we'll go to the container and then we can go to computed. And I'm gonna show all the properties that are being assigned to our container element. And if we go down and look for our flex direction, this is set to row. We haven't defined this. So this is telling us that the default that the browser uses for flex direction is row. So coming back into Bricks Builder, as I just said, the default here is column. See how it doesn't do anything, but default CSS uses row. So in that video, I'm going to touch on why I think that might possibly be the case that Bricks Builder isn't using the default value. But I thought that was just something interesting to point out. And one of the things that I will be discussing in that video, just these little things like this, that is really worth knowing, just understanding how CSS works on an actual CSS level and not relying so much on clicking icons over here here. Now, the last thing that I want to touch on in today's video is just on the flex direction that we're just talking about. So I said, what's the difference between the main axis and the cross axis? And I said, it relates to the flex direction. So if we have say the horizontal set here, so flex hyphen direction would be set to row here. So coming back to our example, that's the equivalent of writing flex direction row like that. And as we know, that's the default value that the browser uses. So we didn't see any changes just then, but we can come into here and and say column, and now they go vertically down the page, which back here, if we clicked on column, that's what we're getting here with default bricks. Now I'm gonna switch back to row, which is the default for CSS, and switch this back to row. And I'll just add a comment saying this is default. So with CSS, when you make something display flex and that defaults to flex direction row, the main axis is across the row. So if I come into here, this, because it's flex direction row, the main axis is across the row. Now the other axis that is not the main axis is known as the cross axis. So if our main axis is horizontal, our cross axis is vertical. So I'll just add title. So this here is the main axis because we're set to flex direction row and down here is going to be the cross axis. And it's important to know the difference between the main axis and the cross axis and to remember that justify content aligns the items on the main axis. So I'll just add a comment here. So this is the main axis and then align items aligns them across the cross axis. So main axis justify content, cross axis align items. And knowing that's really going to help you go and lay out your pages inside of Bricks Builder. So back here in Bricks Builder, the main axis justify content, the cross axis Access align items. Let's just say on our container here, we gave this a height like in our code example. So I'll go down to say the background and we'll give this a background of yellow. And then here under layout for height, we'll say 80 VH. So it's 80% of the screen. And then back on this container under content, if we were happy with this layout here, but we just wanted to make these columns here sit in the center of this parent, the yellow box, we know that this is set to flex direction row so the main axis is across here. So the cross axis is going vertical. So we can go align cross axis and we could go center. And now they're sat in the center of the cross axis. So my upcoming video is all about helping you be intentional with what you're doing here in Bricks Builder and knowing what's going on behind the scenes. It's going to make all of us better front end developers, allow us to build better websites if we do take the time to understand this and what it's actually doing. In that video, we'll also look at flex wrap. We'll go through what flex grow, shrink and flex basis do. We'll touch on this other option of icons down here, align self and what this is actually doing. And we'll go through another option for Flexbox that Bricks Builder doesn't actually 
include in its interface, which works like this. If we have these four boxes here, let's just say we actually double that. So instead of the four items, we had eight of these and they all try and fit on the one row. But then on the container, we did flex wrap, which by default is no wrap. And we can see that over on the right hand side. If we look for flex wrap, it's no wrap. So if we define this as being able to wrap, now Flexbox has worked out that it wants to put five on the top and three at the bottom. And let's just say we wanted to sit these in the middle of this yellow box together. We can come down here and say align content and do center. And now they're centered together inside here, inside the yellow box. And this option here, align content, if we go back to Bricks Builder, that's actually not an option here. If we hover on all these labels here, we have align self, justify content, align items, but there's no align content. So in my video, I'll be going through why that isn't too large of an issue and how you might actually get the similar result using these options that are here on the screen and probably why Bricks Builder haven't introduced it. I'll also show you if you did want to go and use Align Content for your own layout, I'll show you how you could go and do that here inside of Bricks Builder. Actually quite easy anyway. But we do have a lot to go through in that video, so I'm going to get back to filming it. I just wanted to put this video together. It's a new style that I'm trying where if I look at my YouTube videos, you can see that I released a video three days ago and then that was a really big one. So the one before that was like a month ago and it's just not at the rate that I would like to be doing YouTube videos. So I thought instead of just going and releasing a video once a month, I would give these behind the scene videos on what I'm working on just in the interim. And the best thing about this is you can leave comments below this video and let me know your frustrations with Flexbox and some of the things that are maybe a bit confusing for you at this point in time so that I know to include them in my video that I'm filming right now. It. So these bridge videos are about getting feedback from you so I can make the best video possible on the topic and let you know what topics I'm currently working on. So if that all sounds good, please consider liking this video today. And also don't forget to subscribe if you're seeing this and you're not subscribed. Otherwise, you won't get notified when I do release the full video on this Flexbox and Bricks Builder topic. And if you're looking for something else to do today, definitely consider going watching my Bricks Builder Tailwind CSS video here, my most recent video on YouTube. If you you don't know, Tailwind is a CSS framework that is used throughout the web. It's the second most popular as far as I know, just under Bootstrap, but it's gaining momentum. And I feel like it's definitely worth checking out to see what it does, how it works, and whether or not it could make you build better websites faster with Bricks Builder. So I'll put that video on the screen now.